welcome back to another video from Homemaker. In my today's video we are going to learn how to grow chickpea greens. These greens are actually very healthy for your body. Um, you can use them in your curries, you can use them in stir fries or even just eat them as a salad. They are really healthy, they provide you with all sorts of vitamins and minerals. Um, they've got high level of iron and calcium content in them. Um, the good thing with growing chickpea is that when they're small, um, like this one, when they're small, um, you can cut them and use them in your curries or you can wait for them to grow and actually give you um, the real chickpeas, the green color small chickpeas that uh, we usually buy from the shops. So this will be your own homegrown organic veggie as well as the chickpeas that you can get and use in your cooking. Alright friends, so today I'll show you how to grow them from chickpea seeds. So let's get started. So these are the chickpeas that I'm going to use to grow the greens. These are called black chickpeas. They also come in white color as well. I'll show you those ones too. Like these ones here. So either you can use the black ones or you can use the white ones. Both of them will work equally to grow them. Alright, so um, for my um, growing my chickpeas, I'm going to use um, the black ones. So the soil that I'm going to use here, I've got the mixture of coco peat and I've got the <clears throat> compost in it with a little bit of chicken manure and some perlite. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this container with the soil. A little bit more okay so now after you have done that we will put some um, chickpeas on top either you can just randomly put them like that or you can put them in rows if you have a bigger planter, you can make small rows and put them in there. Some people also like to soak them before they put them in the soil. You can try that method as well, but um, believe me, both the methods work equally. They will still sprout. And the good thing about chickpeas is that they sprout very quickly. Like you can see them sprouting just within three to four days. You can see um, the green tiny little shoots coming up. For my chickpea greens, I'm not going to wait up for the for these these types of chickpeas to come up. I'm just going to harvest them um, as green and use them in my curries. So I think that's enough. I have it has covered almost um, every part of my planter. And now what you do is just put a little bit of soil from sprinkled soil from top just to cover those seeds because um, the seeds need uh, warmth and moisture to sprout and if you leave them open then they're not going to sprout or they'll take a long time to sprout so Make sure you cover them nicely with soil. You can put um, an inch of soil on top because um, if the seeds are bigger, um, 
you can put a little bit more soil because once they sprout when when they are when they become soggy and they become thick um, they tend to pop up from the soil and you don't want that to happen because you want your seed and the root to be well germinated in the soil so maybe for chickpeas you can add an inch of soil on top so that your chickpeas don't um, pop out when they sprout this happened I saw I'm sharing this information with you because this happened um, to my chickpeas the ones that the greens that I showed you before so when they sprouted some of the chickpeas they just popped out of the soil and I had to put some more soil to cover them up so this time I'm not going to make that mistake so I can say an inch of um, soil I have put them and now you can cover them up um, you can try the bigger ones as well if you want I have never tried it uh, maybe next time I'll try it but that's how you do and in three days three to four days um, they should sprout and after um, I can say two weeks you can you'll see um, that much of growth that I showed you before this one so this um, growth is I can say in two weeks time that I see so if you see from the bottom they are like this big I can say one hand size this much so approximately one hand one hand size they are now in two weeks and they're really healthy to eat and yummy as well you can cook them with uh, some other homegrown um, greens like mustard greens or spinach um, or any other English spinach or any other greens that you have with you all right friends so this was all about how to grow it's very simple try this at home um, and enjoy till then see you next time with another exciting video happy gardening bye bye